I also think that we have to be a little careful in making the green case to developing countries, and again, not to oversimplify, but to say that, at least for my business colleagues in developing countries, they hear green and they think, expensive, mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. What you guys can do in the US, but we can't possibly do it because we don't have the resources. We're small companies and we have bigger problems to face. So I think that um, part of the challenge as the initiative goes forward is how we mainstream this idea how we make green a verb as well as a noun, and also how we tailor it and understand that it's got to be flexible and it's got to be accessible uh, for, for industry uh, sectors across the spectrum and in developing countries as well as developed countries. Um, in terms of markets, um, I guess I would say that, and, and regulation, obviously we've seen some tremendous downsides of deregulation and lax regulatory um, enforcement over the last few days and weeks. But I would also say that poorly designed or misimplemented policy isn't going to help us either. And I think our recent experiences here in the US with uh, ethanol are a very good case in point. So we have to think very hard about the kinds of policies we put in place and the kinds of markets that we do create. But certainly open and diversified markets are going to be critical. Um, and I think that this is a time when we want to try to keep all tools on the table and understand that the business community has many tools at its disposal, which it needs to use more and deploy more. And by that, I mean something as basic as management systems, environmental management systems, the ISO 14000, for example. And there are other management systems coming forward under the International Standards Organization that deal with organizational responsibility, that talk about energy management systems. And these are things that I think can be deployed. Um, likewise, through supply chains and joint ventures and business-to-business -business partnerships, there are some dynamics there that we're not taking, of taking advantage of enough and we need to deploy further. So in addition to partnering with, business, with, uh, excuse me, with governments and with other stakeholder groups, just working within our own business community are go is going to be very important. <laughs>